totally amazing, excellent discovery. Uh, my name is Sergio. I'm a fourth year grad student here and I'm in charge of the plant propagation projects. Um, and pretty much what we're trying to do is we're trying to come up with ways to more efficiently produce uh, elite varieties of plants. And in particular working with cacao, we're collaborating with Dr. Gilton's lab over in plant biology. And what we're trying to do is essentially clone one plant that has a, a genetic a trait that we want, such as disease resistance or productivity and the idea is to take one of the cells and you submit it uh, and you put expose it to a transcription factor that will turn on pathways that eventually will lead this. Um, currently I'm working with a, a lot of transcription factors and one of them in particular baby bloom has the ability to induce all these pathways so we see that when this gene is overexpressed now you have somatic cells go directly into creating new embryos. The second aspect of the project is to come up with a platform to produce these embryos that are very uh, cost-efficient manner. And to the idea is to generate these reactors so they so that the cost is the lowest possible. And uh, the method we're using is this temporary immersion system where the tissue is slowly submerged in, in, in nutrients for a small amount of time. Um, and then this elim eliminates the, the mass liquid boundary layer. So our oxygen flux is a lot higher. Um, so we're able to grow these tissues which are pretty large in diameter. And the thing that makes our reactor different than other systems, such as the Brita one, is that we use gravity to push the liquid back, and we use the siphon to bring it back into the, the media reservoirs. And this allows us to decouple gas and liquid, which by doing that, we're now we're able to manipulate the headspace to a very precise composition with very low flow rates. So by combining a transient um, transcription factor strategy and a uh, low-cost reactor system, we're hoping to develop a process that we can very inexpensively produce lots of plants that have a desired trait. My name is Tina Lai and I am a master's student in the plant biology pro program and I am currently working in the Curtis Lab group. Um, my project is on characterizing the effects of PLA1 protein in Theobroma cacao somatic embryogenesis tissue culture system. So, um, first, I want to explain about the Abroma cacao, which is this plant right here. It is the chocolate tree, and this plant, um, basically what I want to do is I want to use this protein called PLA1, which stands for phytocyanin like one arabinogalactin protein. This special protein, when you add it into plant tissue culture media, it induces uh, embryo formation and which improves somatic embryogenesis. Now that I know I throw, threw a lot of terms at you that you might not understand, so I'm gonna explain to you. Somatic embryogenesis basically is the process of producing plants from non-sexual organs, which are on a plant are things like leaves or flowers or stems. Just basically any cells that are not part of the seed. Um, as you can see here, there's lots of leaf cells, there's lots of, there's lots of flowers, and all those can be used to produce lots and lots of baby embryos, which will produce lots and lots of baby plants. And this special method of producing plants creates clones of plants, where when you, um, when you find a plant, like a tree that is disease resistant, you want to keep that strong disease resistant tree. And actually, in the chocolate tree system, um, many chocolate farms, chocolate tree farms, are uh, being devastated by plant diseases. Over 50% of chocolate tree crops are destroyed by diseases every year. And a lot of country, tropical countries rely on the chocolate tree as their main economic resource. So, if we can improve the, if we can improve this cloning system to create stronger chocolate trees, then we can really help these farmers that rely on this for their livelihood every day. Um, so an example of how the normal propagation system by seed is, you can see here, there are, these are chocolate trees that are produced from seed. And as you can see, like many of them have been planted, but only some of them are growing up. However, with the somatic embryogenesis system, 
we can get lots and lots and lots and lots of embryos from just a tiny bit of a leaf or like a tiny bit of a flower petal. And you get tons and tons of embryos. So what's special about how I want to improve the system with phytocyanin like one or PLA1 protein is first they discovered PLA1 protein in the cotton somatic embryogenesis system. And in the cotton system, they found that when you added this protein into the media, it it like the callus were able to produce more embryos. A lot, a lot more embryos than the process without the protein. And that's what I want to do in the chocolate tree system. Um, my project is split into three sections. The first section is involved in molecular biology, where I find the orphalog, which is the identical counterpart of the PLA1 protein in the chocolate tree system. I identify the PLA1 genes in the chocolate tree system, and then I clone them into these protein expression vectors called PET14B. And after the cloning is done, there is a protein expression aspect of my project where I produce the protein using E. coli.